Well, Parkway Theater in Minneapolis is part of a unique live stream screening event tonight. I'm really excited to learn more. It's called The Wild. It's an award winning documentary. It's an appeal to save Bristol Bay, Alaska's wild salmon run. The Pebble Limited Partnership have been trying to construct a copper mine in the headwaters of Bristol Bay's salmon country for decades. And an ominous threat descended once again onto Bristol Bay's future and also onto mine. How they can be hatched in these river systems, find their way out to sea, spend two or three years in the ocean, and come back to the exact same place that they were born. It's absolutely amazing to me how they can do that. The premiere virtual screening will be followed by a panel discussion featuring director Mark Titus and several uh, big name celebrities. Joining us now on Skype is the Wild director, Mark Titus. Mike, great, uh, Mark, great to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us about this documentary. I know this has been a, a, a project that really is a passion project of yours. Yeah, this is a follow up to my first film, The Breach, which came out in 2014. And so in all, I've been working issue with Bristol Bay for about 10 years. And Mark, this is really fascinating to me, but half the world eats salmon from the location in the movie. I mean, that much salmon is produced there or harvested? Yeah, it's really hard to get your brain around it unless you see it. Even watching it in the film, it's uh, not quite adequate. 50 million fish came back to Bristol Bay again this year, and that's just sockeye salmon. Uh, there's all five species of Pacific salmon there, but that's just one of the things. So yeah, 46% of the world's supply of sockeye salmon comes from Bristol Bay. And tell us about this mine and why you feel it's such a bad idea. The mine in question is called Pebble Mine, and uh, which is a kind of a cute name for something that would be uh, as deep as the Grand Canyon and could uh, fill 3,900 football stadiums. Think of uh, you know Viking Stadium. Uh, up with toxic waste that would have to be held back forever in a wet, completely connected by water area that is also in a site. It's also right at the headwaters, meaning at elevation of where all of these salmon are in. So the mm. world's last fully intact salmon system, a giant open copper mine in its headwaters. And you, are you in Seattle right now? I know you you lived in Alaska and worked as a fishing guide and worked as a salmon. You worked at a processing uh, facility as well, right? I did. I spent my college summers. My first year was at St. Olaf, by the way. And uh, I spent those summers working in Bristol Bay, learning the trade uh, as a foreman of a freezer packing operation for salmon. And then my uh, 20s as a wilderness fishing guide in southeast Alaska. But there were a lot of Minnesotans there, too. Obviously, this is not how you plan to screen no. this movie. COVID came and you pivot. Tell us, uh. tell us what's going to happen tonight. Yeah, thank you. Um, we had a 50 city tour planned and we were going to physically be at the park to join you guys and pass out wild salmon to eat. And as it turns out, we had to pivot like everybody else. And now we have a virtual tour. So in essence, everyone can show up tonight on this platform. Uh, we've got over a thousand people showing up and uh, we're all going to be able to watch the film together, chat at the same time, and then meet some people from the film and some experts in Bristol Bay at the, in the Q&A. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mark, so much for being with us. And we hope that this still, everything considered with COVID, that you still have a lot of success. I know I'm excited to see it. Thank you. And folks, if they want to show up, can go to avaswild.com. That's the word save spelled backwards. Cool. Wild.com. Oh. Very good. Very good. And we'll link to it at WCCO.com slash links. We'll get you right to the screening for tickets to tonight, uh, the screening of The Wild.